Hello everyone in the globe. It's Tim Guy, the science man. We have a scientistic show for you today with our guest Hunter. So say hi Hunter. Hello. Today we will be, today Hunter and I will be demonstrating how to build a DIY volcano at home. So let's get straight to it. Are you ready Hunter? I'm ready Timmy. Uh, so, okay, so there's three mold pieces that you'll need to place into the mold base order, in, or, in and, order. And after you finish placing the pieces, make sure that the mold walls are even. Okay, and then you get uh, your rubber band and you stretch it out and you place the rubber band on all three notches. So, then you go ahead and put it, the rubber band right here and you put it on all three notches. but. Sadly, I am not an expert, and I currently am sucking at this. So, we will be back. Oh. So, we, we will be back all good once I get this set. But, after you do this, you put the containers all the way into the volcano. And then you pour one cup of water into a disposable container and slowly pour the plaster into the water. Stir it repeatedly with your stir stick. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, whoop, there's bubbles. Yeah, there's you know, bubbles. Oh, because it's so, that's true. Hold up. Lock it in right now. Then we mix this. All right. Spilled some. No, I didn't spill some. Nah. <laughs> you spilled them again. Hold up. Oh, as you can see, it's kind of getting a little thick, you know? You want it like a Wednesday, like that. A little strong, long. All right, so we move this out the way. And then also, if you want to make it uh, go faster, you can put it into the oven for about one to two hours for around 200 Fahrenheit, and then the mold will actually come out almost good as new. So um, that's also an option, but let me mix this. I'm about to get, the, about to get this shit right. Hold up. All right. So Hunter, how long have you been doing volcanoes like this? I've been doing it for like five years now. Damn, five years? Yeah. What have you learned from these five years? You're going to want to step back all the way. Oh, right. Maybe not for this volcano, but, but for other volcanoes I've done. We'll get, we'll get back right after this commercial break. So, and when we come back, the mold will be ready to go. Welcome back to the show. So let's get back into it. So after you remove the volcano mold, after, after you, uh, the mold gets all set, you want to carefully remove it from the mold. And then you want to gently scrape off any mold lines left behind and let plaster completely dry before painting. We recommend letting the mold sit for like one to two days in a warm, dry place. And then, so after you do the volcano, it should come out to look like this. Now you can see, so it's, it's a little volcano, none crazy. And paint your volcano any way you'd like with included paints. And then yeah. let the paint completely dry before making your volcano erupt. All right. 
And then uh, you want to put your volcano on a newspaper, cardboard, or honestly anything you have. Cause, and also put some old, sheet, old clothes on so you don't get nothing dirty because it can get very dirty. Or you can just wear an apron. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get this mixture of eruption powder one. And I put uh, baking soda in the middle, which is the secret uh, powder too. And then we mix it and we put it all in the middle of the volcano. And then gradually pour one cup of water into the volcano. A little time, stand back and watch as the volcano explodes. As you can see, all lava is coming out. Wow. Well, it's not it's not a society-ending type of volcano, but it is a very interesting volcano, and that's quite a lot to put through. But um, as we're cleaning up, I would like to thank my host. I mean, my guest for. For, have, for being here, and I hope you all have an amazing day.